Hey guys, my name is Stefan. And I'm Amy. And we are the Cabin of Courage. So we're staying like just up there and um, we're at this place called Honeycomb Caves, I think. We uh, met some lady that does like guides and stuff <laughs> and she was like, don't do it, it's, you know, you need to be with proper people with proper thingies. But I think it's gonna be all right. Like she needs to calm down a little bit. But um, yeah, this is it. Apparently there's a, she said there was 400 caves. Not in this area. Not in this in area, just in um, yeah, the creek. Very yeah, it's cool. already looking pretty magical. I brought two torches, that's right. One for me, one for me. So prepared. Go, I have no idea where we go. Oh, God, it's pretty. Pull the footprints. Do to hold your hand or you good? Okay, so this is a small cave, and apparently there's more. We'll check out, we'll, we'll check out the big one or whatever it is a bit more. Check out this little cool cavey bit. It's like that's where you can get in. Definitely don't have the right shoes for this. Poor skate shoes. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Yo! Yeah. Does not. What's happening? How cool is this little cavey bit? Awesome ads. Look at those little stalactites. They're adorable. Thousands of years old, right? Look at that. Oh, whoa, look at them. There's loads. They must be old. I love the uh, way you can see like the stairs going up on the other side. It's cool. This place is massive as far as caves go. This torch actually works with this this phone. Good old zoom. So we came from over there, and it kind of just like continues the whole way through. This is a cool cave. Ooh, we call that the boogie hole. Jesus. This one that looks like there's one goes down there as well. Maybe though, who knows? Oh, this is an awesome cave. Let's have a quick look down here. If it does, no, it doesn't. This is the only way. Oh, I guess there's two ways. That's such a typical cave, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's light. Nice. Go that way? Yeah, lead the way. Go up. You can't go under, can you? <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, you want a torch? Oh, this cave is so cool. Look it up. I saw loads of stalactites, by the way. It's like a random cave with like super deep little sign over there saying that like it's been closed and you can't come here anymore. I think you can really see that. So this also could just be a drop for you there. No, maybe. Oh, it totally is. Oh, it's not to your death. Probably, maybe. Oh, this is so cool. 
God damn it, this place is awesome. This place is so damn awesome. Check it, it's like where we came from, up there, all in there. There's like these cool ass stairs down. That's just huge, like, look at that. Ridiculous. Into caves into caves. And caves into caves into caves. And then look at this. There's like just running water, just running down into the distance. Should I see if I can zoom that? Oh yeah, actually helps a lot. Jesus, it keeps going. Alright, that's the, that's the roof. The one's down there. Oh my god, it's so far. Look at this place. I'm like another cavey thing there. Oh yeah, it's a riverbed. Cool. We'll see you guys along the path. Yeah, I can see how it floods, for sure. Wow. So many caves along here. Yeah, for sure. I'll go through this side. Oh. Does it? Not far. Oh, okay. Oh, these rocks are so slippery. Whoa. That's incredible. You mean we're not getting out? <laughs> God, look at the shine on it. It's so shiny. It's insanely shiny. Oh boy, it's like a dynasty. It's beautiful. Oh no, we can hear the later. Oh, they're gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> that lady's like, don't do it. Oh, it's funny. I don't think this goes anywhere. Oh well, let's go start having new friends. Sure yeah, screw it. I want to keep going. I can still see the light. Um, be careful. There's some decent sized puddles. Oh no! It's like all puddles. Oh, I'm going to put the phone down for a bit. I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully we make it. The only way to get through caves is to skate shoes. One leg, the other leg. I'm just going to kind of like rock climb along there I think. There's definitely people up there, for sure. Now he's gonna head back, because it's uh, getting pretty sketchy. I mean, that's a lot of water. You might not be able to tell. I don't know if you can or not. It's actually, um, it's actually moving. All right, I definitely can't do this and hold a phone, so I'll see you guys soon. So I uh, passed the people and um, got to a little bit of an opening, but then it gets pretty like squishing through this sort of stuff. And I will totally get lost, because let's be honest, there's a lot of stuff that looks like that around here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head back, because there's no real indication of a good way back, if you know what I mean. Got a little bit more whilst they're talking, I'll be able to hear them. But I'm not going to go much further than this. Look at these huge pools of water. Oh, it's incredible. You hear that? Definitely running. No waterproof torch. All right, time to head back. So apparently these um these places flood and go completely underwater. So that would be pretty intense. Pretty intense indeed. Look at it, there's so many options of like, dodgy places to go. Oh my god. Do you see that? You know what, I'm gonna do you one better. Put you to this one. Come on. Alright. 
Don't drop the phone. Oh my god, that's so deep. Please still be waterproof phone. Oh. This is what I'm talking about by type, by the way. So there's like a little bit of an opening here. But as soon as you start getting on it, gets a bit narrow for a uh, human. So you gotta kind of get under here. This is too hard with the phone. It's even narrower on this bit. And now that kind of looks big in comparison. But right, I'm gonna start heading back before my torch totally dies on me. See you guys. Yeah. Catch you. They're so not happy that I'm just like doing this without gear. You know I mean, like, I'm not going crazy deep or anything. I just want to explore. Oh, people are always gonna care. Everyone's got something to say. I have seen what I wanted to. Nay? Hey, babe. This cave has a lot of possibilities, it's not funny. So yeah, if you're into caving and such, I highly recommend coming to this one, because there's obviously a lot, of, uh, a lot of choices, a lot of little areas, and a lot of really big, beautiful areas like this. I mean, just look at it. It's stunning. Hey. So we're heading back out now, back along the, uh, through the first cave. God, what I say, I love it. I I'm absolutely loving this. It's so like video game-esque. Just the way that it's super lush and almost unbelievable. Where you can like see sky through that little tiny crack in the sky. And it's just cave into cave. Magical AF. Look how damn magical this place is. Oh my god. We're uh, this is just behind where we're staying at the moment. It's definitely got a lot darker. We had some lunch and stuff. It's apparently this part of the cave or this place. It uh, extends into private property, so we can't go all the way. We certainly won't because obviously we're you know completely inequipped. Is this slippery as it looks, eh? Jesus. I don't think I'm going any further. You're not going to go any further? I don't think I can. I don't think I can either, actually, because that water is completely over all the thing. I think it's wellies only kind of deal. Whoa. Yeah. That is very slippery. Yeah. Oh, it's squelchy. <laughs> Man, we need hiking boots so bad. Oh, I brought my torch. Ooh, I actually can get across, I think. If I do the good old, uh, let's just... God, this torch is so broken. There we go, if I go there, and there, and there, and there. Ooh, it gets a bit slim. No. Oh, look at it. It's huge. Yeah, I think gumboots only hey. Oh, but if we had the hiking shoes, maybe. We stand up, we could just run across and then, you know, maybe not get wet. Oh, it's huge. This is a really big cave though. God damn. Is there any big logs around? Over there. It just keeps it's like it's really big though. This cave's massive. Like height-wise, look at it. We'll see if we can figure out how to get there, otherwise, maybe not. So I'm trying my best to try and make it across. I found this big ass stone. And then there's that. And then there's that one there, but then there's nothing. And there's a pretty big knock head knocker. So I'm a little dubious still. But um, I'm gonna give it a shot. As you probably assumed, totally nailed it. Didn't even get wet shoes. 
Look at that skill. Kind of like went hobbled across those ones all the way. See you soon, eh? Alright, so now we're onto this. Let's uh, see where it goes. Ooh, that's pretty wet. It's actually kind of warming. Oh, come on, this torch. I swear to God. I swear I can hear someone. I can hear someone. Or is that just the water like kind of bloop, 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 bloop. Might be that. Oh, come on, torch. Oh, that's convenient. It's a nice size. How cool is that? <laughs> convenient as a little star pig. Come on. Hey, was under surveillance. Come on, mate. What is this? All right, I'll look that way though. Just a little bit further. No exit though. That's a lot of water. That's a really big cave. I'll um. Oh, that's a bit better. Look at that. Look at the ripples in the roof for the reflection. It's hard to tell where the water ends and the thing begins. I'll try and grab my other torch. That's pretty good. Good combination. There we go. I'll adhere your sign, my friend. Also, because it's like crazy amounts of water, I don't want to take my shoes off. Imagine how cold this water would be. We're in Tasmania. Oh, there's actually nowhere else we can go. How come these caves don't have cave crickets? Probably because they fill up with water. I can't cross that, can I? Oh, it's so shallow. Oh, wow, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty squishy here. Oh, mate. Nah. I guess that's a private property cave only. You can see, you can really see how high the water gets here though. It'd be uh, washing through here. That'd be scary to be here when it's raining. Right. Time to head back to Nay. Look at that little beach. If you're curious, so the first cave is like up there, and this is just like the main area. And there's like a, this little toilet over there, a little uh, compost toilet. And the car park's up there. And just like just around the corner, there's like a little uh, little sort of car parky thing and you can just walk straight down. And this is where we're staying, obviously. And then that's the other cave. But obviously you could see you, you need, uh, need gum boots for sure. Or like just, you know, balls up and take your shoes off. But um, also obviously a private property, if you know what I mean. So maybe you shouldn't. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Catch you guys later. That was a... Uh, the caves and what's this place called? Mole Creek. Mole Creek. Honeycomb Caves. Honeycomb Caves. And there's a shitload. So, uh, you know, if you like caving, come here. I want to see something mighty ridiculous. So, I wanted to go to the toilet and they want to check out a honey farm. So, I figured I'd pull to the side of the road, nice and legal. We're going to you know? show you the honey store because it's it's mind blown. Like, the flavors in there are just. Really? I haven't seen it yet because we'll I went see. to the toilet. But, um, I'll show you. So, I was pulling up next to the, the gutter because I wanted to be as close to the gutter because obviously, massive ice caravan. And there happened to be this sign right here. You may be able to see there's a little something hanging from that sign. <laughs> right there. All well, that something. Is that awning? And all of this, which I'm gonna have to pick up, is the awning, because the sign was sticking out at a bit of an angle and it scraped the whole side of the awning. And you can probably also see, this kind of shows on how ridiculously terrible our awning is. The tape is actually fine. And the awning has been destroyed. So I'm gonna have to tape the whole way up. Cause this tape, how, how long ago did we put this tape up now? Very long time, I have a process Yeah, so like this, like six months ago, I put this tape up because it started ripping. 
and the tape is still pretty good. So I think I'm gonna just tape the whole thing because we just got like 25 meters of tape for five bucks. And it's the same, like super cheap, shitty tape. So, yep, I uh, just thought you might wanna see that. So we're heading to Deloraine now anyway. So I'm um, gonna see some more stuff there and uh, we'll show you the honey farm. Catch you guys there. So we're gonna try this together. Even though I've tried. Oh, what, what are we doing? I'm Red chili room. first. I don't think I want to do uh, chili. That's too bad. Can you help me out here? <laughs> Oh, that's good. Go on. Can I just yeah, no, no. Come in. Oh, <laughs> Alright, ready? It's gonna burn, I can feel it. Oh, nice, it's a little um, paprika ish. <laughs> Alright, squeeze. This one's not so bad. It's like musty. That's similar. I like it though. The other bird. Not <coughs> well, even a little bit. This is the honey place, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ah. Could you help me out, baby? Oh my god. Comes that quick. I'm not a fan of that one. This one's not so bad. It's weird. <coughs> <laughs> I think I actually like this one the most. That was bad. Yeah, I don't mind that one. That's where it starts. Yeah, check it out. Come on, this is the anatomy of the bee. God, it looks creepy. No. Strange. And the nasal, like, real sweet, like, vanilla. Ooh, have okay. you tried it? Yeah. Alright, these aren't inter as interesting, so we'll uh, catch you later. But this is the rest of the honey place. It's quite nice. There's chocolate honey too. So the apple and the orange were actually it looks so mm, amazing. It's like uh, incredibly look at all creamy. Fruit honeys. Yeah, look at them all. So they got some more, just like, sort of standardish ones. Couple more standardish ones, and then not so standard ones. Nuka ginseng. Look at all these. And look at these chocolate truffle. Oh, there's no hazelnut. That would be amazing. You can tell Nay's been here. Jesus. Oh, wait, they have hazelnut. Oh, just not chocolate hazelnut. What else is there? Look at Nay, she can't get it. What's your, what's your thoughts? Strange. Apple's better. Apple's better. I'm pretty keen to try. You should snap the stick up instead of going through like a thousand sticks. Cool. Yeah. And this is the rest of the store. Hey guys, so that was the honeycomb caves, and this is the honey store. And the next place we're heading is Deloraine into the Bastion Cascades. Catch you guys there.